Hello my budgeters and welcome to another budget with me video. I am Bernice and if you're new here I just want to say hey. Um, I do lots of budgeting and cash stuffing videos so if you like that kind of stuff please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean the absolute world to me. So today what I will be doing is I am doing a budget with me where you're going to see how I break down my bills and my envelope as well as my sinking funds. So let's get started. For this paycheck date, we're doing from November 30th to December 15th. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay. And if you've been watching me for a while, then this income that Sandra and I put into our joint account, it's the same. So she's putting in 800, I'm putting in 700. And just so you know, this number is not our actual paycheck. We get paid more than this. But we both have a um, joint and a personal account so this goes into our joint account and the rest goes to our personal account and we do as we please with that money for example I have my own phone bill with my family so I pay them from not this money but with the money that I have in my personal account so if we Add up all those together so it will be 1,500 okay so we're gonna go in our bills and for bills within this paycheck we have rent good old rent which is to the first and we are budgeting $402. Now, I like to split the rent um, within paychecks. For example, the past paycheck I did 402. This paycheck I'm doing 402. It's just easier for us instead of the whole $803 coming out in one paycheck. All right, so now we have um, our Duke Energy. And that is due the 8th. And we will be budgeting $54. And then we have Spectrum due the 14th. And that will be $70. So that's pretty much the bills we have within this time. What I do next is I do a cushion which has saved my life plenty of times and I put fifty dollars in my cushion and as well as my emergency fund which I am trying to get it to grow I'm trying to hit five thousand and we'll see how that goes and then I like to split my car payment in half within paychecks as well and that will be $174. So if we add all that up together, 402 plus 54, 70, 50, 50, and 174. So that is a total of $800. And then I'm going to subtract the income total minus 800 so that will give me a leftover of $700 to work with with my envelopes my sinking funds and my debt all right so we're gonna start off with my envelopes and in envelopes we are doing groceries which I'm adding $160. My pets will be $120. Takeout will be $40. Our beauty and 
health, 20. Fun will be 20. And miscellaneous will also be 20. Within this paycheck, I don't know if I'll be using all of this just because my partner is going out of town for work for about three weeks. So I'm just feeding myself, which I don't need much but just in case the 160 is there I may give her some money so she can spend it on whatever over there whatever grocery she needs or wants so and also my pets um, I did go up a little bit just because their food is more expensive because we had to change their diet to something with less fat so yeah we're gonna have to up their category and then everything else I just played around with, so nothing too crazy going on. So I'm just going to add all that up. So that is a total of $380. And then after that, what I do is I get my leftover, which is $700, then minus the envelope total. 380 so now it is three hundred and twenty dollars so once I get my leftover I head over to my extra debt and for my extra debt I do have one loan which is my car loan and I'm going to put two hundred dollars aside for that because I'm trying to get rid of that so fast so so we're gonna do 320 minus the 200 which is $120 left over to put in my sinking funds so my sinking funds now they won't be getting a lot of money because I'm trying to get my car loan paid off as quickly as possible but they are getting something and in vacation, I'm adding $10. House, I'm doing 28. Car, I am doing 10. Well, car maintenance. For the Lexus, 10. Then we got Sandra's car, 10. Wedding and honeymoon, that will be 10. Doggos will be 12. I am M will be 10. Moving out is 10. And our pups emergency fund will also be getting 10. So we add all this up 10 plus 28, 10, 10, 10, 10, 12, 10, 10, and 10. So that will give us a total of $120 which gives us a leftover of zero dollars. All right, gonna switch it to our envelope breakdown. And what I will be doing is just writing down all the categories and then putting the amounts here so I can see what kind of denominations that I want to break it down to. So let's get into it.
All right, guys, so I will be taking out $700 out of my account to stuff all of these envelopes right here that you see. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I do plan to film a budget for beginners video coming soon. So look out for that as well as I am doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So if you are not following me on Instagram, I suggest you do so you can enter the giveaway. It's like a Christmas edition giveaway just to say thank you. It is the giving time so I want to give that to you guys. It's going to be the pretty much the same items like I did on with my YouTube giveaway maybe like last month with like the Lux wallet and the highlighters all that good stuff so go ahead and check that out my Instagram will be linked down below if you don't know it but it's the same username as my YouTube channel which is vetted budgets so if you guys are interested in joining that and winning some free cool items head over to my Instagram and enter and guys thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a great day and I will see you in my next video where I stuff all these envelopes alright thank you guys bye